What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's Maddie Pruitt here. I am so glad that you are here. And today I thought we would talk about prayer. I get asked by so many people, Maddie, how do you pray? How do you have such a good prayer life? And what does prayer even mean and why do we have to do it? It's so weird. Do I just talk out loud even though I can't see anyone? We have so many questions. So I'd love to tackle it. I'd love to dive into why I believe that prayer is so important and so powerful and why you and I should be practicing it every single day. So let's get into it. so many of us we put this like weird weight on prayer but I like to simplify it because it's easier to understand that way so I like to think about prayer as a conversation just like I would have with a friend just like I would have with someone we'd be sitting here we'd be talking back and forth I'm talking I'm listening and that's how I like to see it as my relationship with God and as I'm praying is hey I'm gonna come in I'm gonna share my heart I'm gonna talk about all the random things as if God doesn't already know, but I'm gonna tell him anyways. I'm gonna tell him about things going on in my life. I'm gonna tell him about the things that are in my heart, the thoughts, the fears, the struggles, the dreams, all the things. And I'm gonna bring my needs before him. I'm gonna bring my wants before him. I'm gonna share my heart with him. And I'm also gonna listen. That doesn't mean I'm gonna hear his voice, but I at least give room for him to speak if he wants. And when I say speak if he wants, that does not mean that it's gonna come in like a voice or it's gonna be written in the clouds. You never know how God can speak, but I like to at least, you know, make it like a conversation and um, really just soak it up and pray. And I'll usually have worship music. I like to pray out loud. Um, it's my favorite way to pray because if I pray in my head, it never goes well. I'll start praying and then I'll start thinking about the dress that I want to buy at Revolve. And then I'll just like start thinking about where I'm wearing it to and who's going to be there. And then next thing you know, I'm like literally 10 years from now thinking about like my life with kids one day. And I'm like, how literally, how did I even get here? And that's what happens if I try and pray in my head. So I like to pray out loud and um, whether that's in my car or whether that's in my house or wherever that is in the shower, I do encourage you to find a place. I think that it brings comfort if you have like a consistent place. I try and do it in a safe place, whether that's at, I'm at home by myself or I'm in my car by myself. And I try to be really consistent with it. I like to start off my mornings with prayer. And I think that prayer is so powerful for three reasons. One, I think that prayer is personal. I think it's very relational. It brings it down from this crazy big relationship from this creator and this savior and this king and the God on the throne to he's my father. It's so relational. It's so personal. Like I'm talking to my dad, like I'm talking to my father. And it just really brings perspective. And it talks about, you know, in God's word, like I have given you a spirit of adoption. I have adopted you into this family. You are my child. And that just brings me so much comfort to know that I have a place of belonging, that I have a place of daughter, like sonship. I have a father who cares about me and who loves me and who wants to hear from me. And it talks about God's word too, like he hears me, he hears my voice. I'm not just talking to air. It's very personal and it's very relational and it's very intimate. And it's something that is so, so special and so sacred. And the second thing I like to say is prayer is powerful. It talks about in scripture how prayer is effective and it's powerful. And we actually have the ability to pray, not by what we see, but by what we believe. And things will happen and things can move and things can shift. I've literally had situations where I have prayed over people. I've prayed over situations. I've prayed over myself. And I have genuinely watched as they have changed. And I have watched as there has been miracles and transformations and so many things that have happened, not because of my power or my strength, but because of praying with just this fearlessness and this boldness and this faith of, I serve a God of the impossible. And he says that there is power in our words. There is power in our belief. There is power in faith. And so I'm going to choose to not speak as what is, but as what could be. And I'm going to choose to speak with words of power and by reading God's 
word. And that's actually one thing that I think is the most powerful thing that we can do. And even Jesus showed us that, you know, when he was tempted and when he felt pressure and when he felt angered or when he felt misunderstood or accused, he always responded with God's word and with scripture. And so that's one thing that I think is the most powerful thing we can do is just praying scripture, praying God's word over our lives, over our futures, over our families. And the last one I believe is that prayer is purposeful. There is so much purpose in prayer and not just for you, but also for other people. And I like to believe that prayer is so important for me to pray, not just for my own needs and not just for my own wants, but on behalf of other people around me, on behalf of family, on behalf of friends, on behalf of this world and this nation. This nation and this world desperately needs prayer. And you and I can be prayer warriors. You and I can be intercessors, which means we intercede on their behalf. We pray on their behalf. And it says, God bends his ear down. He hears us. He cares about our prayers. And it says the prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. That's why there's so much purpose in it. That's why you and I should see it as something that it shouldn't just be something we do right before we're falling asleep or something we do right before a meal or something we do on just special occasions and holidays. It's something we should do throughout our day. It's something we should make a priority at the beginning of our day. And we should see that there's such purpose in it. Just think about it from this way. I'm not going to come into a sports event or a basketball game without any plan of action, without any game plan of what we're going to do. I have studied film. I am ready and prepared to play this game. And the same thing goes for our prayer life. I don't want to just come in and just think about everything under the sun and just talk about the most random things. I don't want to just talk to talk. I want it to have intention. I want it to be purposeful. And in order to pray with power, in order to pray powerfully, like we got to have a game plan in order for it to deepen and grow and, and be an intimate relationship with Jesus. Like there's got to be intention in it. And so one thing that has been super, super helpful for me is my church actually has this prayer guide and I'm going to include the link below so that you guys can check it out because it has been a game changer for me in my prayer life. And it gives me all these different prayers that I can pray. And you can literally follow this guide and it'll show you it has the prayer of Jabez, it has the prayer of Moses, it has the Lord's Prayer um, that I'm sure many of you have heard, my Father who is in heaven, hallowed be your name, that whole prayer. It has all of those prayers. If maybe prayer has been something that's a little uncomfortable or you don't know where to start or you don't know how to organize it or you don't know how to plan, you're like, Maddie, okay, I wanna plan it, but like, how do I plan it? What do I do? What do I say? This is a great tool that has been so good for me in my prayer life. It's like 70 pages, but it's because it includes all these different prayers and it shows you the heart of our God. It shows you what he wants us praying for and what moves and stirs his heart. And so I have seen how prayer has completely changed my life. I've seen how it has taken my relationship with God from a religious level to a very relational level. I've seen how it's made me not just a passive person, but a passionate person. I've seen how it's made me more disciplined, more intentional um, with my life, with my time. Because honestly, a lot of times, if I'm being so transparent with y'all, I mean, there's moments where I wake up in the morning and I don't feel like praying. I don't feel like reading my Bible. I don't feel like doing any of that. And honestly, I'll start off and I'll be like, God, um, thank you for today. It's definitely a gift. I'm thankful and I'm just happy that I'm still breathing. Um, you're really awesome. You know, thank you for saving my life. But then like by the end of it, I'm like, and hey God, I believe that you're going to do this and you're going to do this and you're amazing and I love you. And it's, it's beautiful. And there's not a specific way. Your prayers don't have to sound like mine. My prayers don't have to sound like yours. And that's the beautiful thing about it. Just like none of our relationships look the same. Your relationship with God doesn't have to look just like mine but it's a beautiful and intimate thing for you and prayer is so personal and so intimate and for me i love praying over people too i love bringing other people into it i love encouraging other people with god's word and with god's scripture but the only way i'm even able to do that is because i have such a powerful prayer private life maybe for you it doesn't even start out loud maybe for you it starts with just journaling and that was really big for me at first because speaking out loud seemed a little intimidating so i was like i'm just gonna start small and so i just started journaling prayers. I just started writing out things that I was believing for and hoping for. It was actually really cool because I was literally seeing prayers that I was hoping for and praying for and then I would see pages later them get answered and it's so cool to look back and see wow I was so desperate for God to move in this area of my life and then he did and so I believe that God is sovereign and he's on the throne and he's in control but I also believe that we have a role to play too that we can't just expect God to just do this and do that. We have to believe, we have to have faith, but we also have to speak it. We also have to pray for it. And so I like to say, pray big, pray first, 
May it be the first thing that you do. May you pray big. And I always like to use this acronym PUSH. I heard a preacher say it one time and I just haven't been able to forget it. And it stands for pray until something happens. And that means don't give up. Just because you're praying for something and it's been months, it's been days, it's been years, it's been weeks, it's been forever, it feels like, oh, it's never gonna get answered. Pray until something happens. But understand that it might not look exactly like you thought it was gonna look. I have prayed for clarity in situations. I have prayed for the Lord to bring me peace in an area or for clarity in an area. And I thought that meant, you know, it was going to be perfect and beautiful, but instead it caused relationships to end. It caused doors to close. And I was like, oh, like, what the heck? You know, God, where are you? And he's like, I answered your prayer. It just didn't look like the way you thought it was going to look. But just know that God wants to love you and bless you and wants the best for you. Even when we don't understand it, he's moving and he sees us, he hears us, he cares about us. And he loves you more than you love you. He loves your people more than you love your people. And so just keep that in mind. But prayer is so powerful. It's so personal and it's so purposeful. And I hope that you will take me up on this and you will just watch and see how it can completely change your life. Let me know if you have any prayer requests and things that I can be praying for for you. I know we walk through a lot in life and we carry a lot in life and we can just be tired and exhausted. And you know what? It's important to you know ask people for prayer requests. Hey, like I'm struggling, I need you to pray for me. I do that for my friends, I do that for my family, and sometimes I need that extra prayer. So if that's you today and you're watching this, please let me know how I can be praying for you and know that you're not alone. I hope this encourages you. Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. And again, comment below how I can be praying for you and let me know what you wanna see next. Love you guys.